Hello YouTube. Uh, right, so here is my rear shock. It's a Monarch Plus um, RC HV. Um, basically, you will have seen a couple of videos that I've already done on this. Uh, one was a simple clean and tear down. The other one, I replaced all the seals. Uh, this time, actually, uh, I'm going to replace these bushings. Um, I've been out on several rides, uh, probably the last five rides, and there's been a terrible creaking noise. And I think it's from this uh, bushing here. You can see there's actually quite a lot of play in the lower one. Um, the upper one, uh, absolutely no play. Um, what I've actually done is I've just ordered uh, replacements from TF Tuned on Tinternet. Um, I'll just take you through what what I've done. I mean, you've just seen how easily that comes out of there and you can see the wear as well. That all should be black really, uh, but it's not. And it's um, the steel eyelet has worn through this soft uh, aluminium. Um, so I suppose these are sacrificial parts really, um, but uh, I, I think it's causing me a few problems now. Um, when I actually serviced this, the reason that I didn't do these um, or replace these at the time, well, they weren't in stock unfortunately. That sort of global shortage of things. Uh, I'll just walk you through what this eyelet is. So you've got these two end caps and you've got this um, sort of um, inner bushing here. Um, this actually is, forget the vernier, um, <clears throat> this actually is an 8mm bore on here, so that's an M8. Um, the outer is 12.7mm uh, on this particular one. Um, and the width is, I believe, 22.2mm. So, um, those are the measurements that you will need in order to order replacements. Um, TF Tuned actually do a um, uh, sort of polymer or a, uh, a plastic insert with a uh, metal um, inner uh, that fits into those. So basically the plastic will wear out and not the metal. So that's good. It's a cheaper um, solution for sort of future um for future replacements um but you can see there the plane that is uh is not good what i've actually done is i've i've purchased a top and a bottom uh both of these is the same on this particular shock or my particular bike uh you will find that these are different um it's not shock unique it's different uh, for your bike manufacturer um, because basically your frame will fit on the end of here um, so whatever your frame manufacturer has, has sort of uh, has designated as that measurement will be um, what that measures basically so they are different um, this actually, there's there's a couple of O-rings in here um, just to help that seat uh, and also keep the crap out of there to um, stop wear and, and sand and rubbish getting in there. So it is it, it's probably good practice for every once in a while just to take the shock off. Like I said, two 5mm um, M8 bolts uh, with a hex Allen key just got this off without any problems. And then what you can do is you don't actually have to remove the this in uh, at all um just pop these off um get a um get a bluntish um tool in there and just flip those o-rings out give those a wash and a clean and that will make sure that you don't get any uh, crap in there right so i've ram rabbited on for a bit um i'll skip forward in the next video that, that the clip that you'll see will be hopefully tomorrow when those have arrived um and I'll see whether I've got to remove these eyelets or whether the um, the actual um, uh, uh, plastic parts fit in there. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, so we might have to pop those out. In order to do that, we'll just have to drift those out with a hammer and a socket or something like that. But we'll work that out when uh, when the parts come. Right, 
Right then guys, here we go. <clears throat> Fantastic news. Uh, I ordered this on the 21st of the 7th which is fantastic today is the 22nd and tf tuned have delivered or the postman has uh i should say so let's get this open um now if you remember um i ordered those uh i ordered these um there's two bits in there which is ice uh Let's have a quick look at those. I also ordered, this is for another day, a um, Rock Shocks Lyric. Ooh, that's leaking a bit. Uh, a Rock Shocks Lyric um, refresh. Um, so let's stand that up, pop that over. So, TF Tune, there's one for you. That's started to leak. So, maybe that should have been packaged differently it's a bit, it's a bit um, wet so let's have a look at these uh, so we got o-rings one two three four got two of these two of these these are steel there's a difference the other ones were aluminium and we've got, of course, four of these nylonish. Don't know what those are made out of. I'm presuming they're nylon. They're definitely plastic. Um, maybe a bit of polyprop, something like that. Who knows? Um, and then four of these. So, <clears throat> what I'm actually going to do in the next video is, um, I'm presuming I haven't got an, an assembly, but I'm presuming those O-rings slip into there like that. Um, and then that will sit on the outside yep and then that goes on there much the same as the old one there and that I can already see is going to replace I believe the eyelet the steel eyelet that is in there now I'm pleased about that because this is actually quite warm so that 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 plastic part will slip into there um that then becomes a little bit more of a disposable uh part uh which is great so all we need to do is work out how to get that out uh so that's that's good news but listen tf tuned hang on a minute Shameless plug, TF Tuned. Thanks a lot for getting this um, to me today. Really stoked about that. I'm going to be able to ride at the weekend now. Um, or maybe even tonight. So, it's great stuff. Thumbs up. Right then, guys. So, I've been having a look at this um, inner sort of eyelet bushing. And I actually can't work out. And I haven't got a tool uh to enable me to get it out so what i'm gonna do is i've decided just to uh to make a little cut with a hacksaw so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna break the hacksaw open like that i'm gonna slot it in um and then fit it back together um and make at least one cut because i can see actually that it looks like it once was joined uh, like that so I don't know whether it's like a sort of spring part that was put in I've seen other videos of where people just simply knock these out with a with a tool now I don't have anything big enough to do that um, and I don't want to risk damaging the the sort of this aluminium outer here so I'm just going to make a cut um, in there see how I get on and then potentially make a cut opposite and hopefully when they're in two parts they'll just fall away uh, so I'll film a little bit of that uh, it's gonna be boring stuff but um, I'm just gonna make a real cut uh, a real gentle cut I'm gonna take it steady and make sure I, I keep the hacksaw level I don't want to dig into this way or that way uh, or backwards or forwards um, because if I do I run the risk of nicking the um, the aluminium and I don't want to do that I only want to cut the steel eyelet out so I'm going to do that. 
really thin though that is. I'm not going to run the risk of going all the way through. What I'm going to do now is, let's take that out, I'll move the camera, let's just see whether we've, you, you guys can see that, it's not showing up very well, um, but I've made a, a little nick in the bottom there, so what I'm going to do is flip it over, uh, guys, I'm really gently, um, I hasten to add, just clamping this in, in the vise. There's, there's, there's no pressure whatsoever um, on there. Uh, at the moment, I'm using the top, uh, the top mount uh, just to just to clamp it. Um, so I'm going to make another cut across here. Uh, I won't film that because I think that's pretty boring. Right then, so, I don't know whether you can see that, um, I've now cut through two sides, one there and one there, back up a bit, I don't know whether that's a bit better, um, but I'm just basically going to tap that out now. started to come out I used a, um, a very small uh, flat headed screwdriver and a hammer just to tap that um, I'll show you the uh, the cuts bear with me a second Just need to tap that another couple of times just to get that out of there uh, and I'll be right back with you, bear with me. Right, so I didn't actually cut all the way through. Um, I just managed to sort of get within <laughs> um, engineering standards, maybe a couple of microns or something. Um, Hi guys, apologies for this, but I'm just editing the video and <laughs> the, this clip didn't actually record. All it was was me putting the plastic inserts into the actual eyelet hole that you can see there. So one from either end, they fit together pretty tightly. Um, I were, was able to just pinch them in with my fingers. I then actually put the steel insert into the both of those and then tighten that up with the vise. Uh, the important part, uh, or my trick, comes at the very beginning of this next clip uh, where I just use the vise again and a nut to uh, basically send it home. Right then, so what I've just managed to do is I found this large nut, pop that nut over that side just to support the, the bush and then I put it in the jaws and just simply tighten that up and um, this part just came out of the, um, of the, of the nut there. Um, listen guys, might be worth you buying the kit if you want to. Um, 
not sure you can see that's flush there and that's pretty flush there might want just tapping over a little bit more of that um, but it seems to be okay um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install these little oil rings pull those in so, do this just to gently tease them in that one's in and then just pull that one over again just use that to face it and in it goes alright so that ladies and gentlemen is whoops a um a bushing uh, eyelet removed and a new bushing and um a tf tuned um replacement part so i'm not going to do the top like i said that's pretty solid that wasn't worn out um let's just take a look at that offending part the one that i had to cut out Um, pretty worn on the inside. Um, I have damaged it actually uh, a little bit, but you can see there that this is like an alichrome sort of um, surface that is uh, harder wearing. Um, and yeah, it's worn away. So that one did its job. It's going in the bin. Um, hit me a like. Uh, thumbs up if you like that guys um, I'm hoping that's got rid of my creak now and um, it should be um, should be good to go so I'm going to swing that on the bike and I'm going to go for a ride tonight fantastic cheers guys